Hi Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This card I used the stamp set Snowman Season and we're going to be using this image and the snowflakes and the Merry Christmas. To make this card I used a card base which I haven't got. Let me get a card base. Even if I put a card base in with this. Anyway, a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth and folded in half and burnished. I used a silver foil card of five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I've got, oh, that's really a strong light on there. A piece of grey um, DSP. This one isn't stamping up. On this one, I use frosted retired paper, frosted. I can't remember what it's called. I've got none left of that anyway. So I've decided I've just found this grey paper. This is what I needed, a piece of grey paper. So yes, so this measures three and three quarters by five and a half. I then have another piece of foil at an inch and a half by five and a half. And then a second bit at a quarter of an inch. This I just found in the drawer and I thought, I'm going to use it and I've just stuck that. It's only for decoration, that's all it is. Rather have it sitting in the drawer wasted. Then I cut out the largest nesting dies, and these came with the bundle with Free as a Bird. So I cut out the largest one of them and also cut out two snowflakes. These are my own snowflakes. I've got that many snowflakes but I picked these two and they will sit under there in each corner of the card. That way. Yeah. I mean I could have just, you could just cut. I could have. I think the fact I will. I won't waste that. I'll use that somewhere else. And I'll just cut this one in half. And just sit that underneath. Like that. And that has gone somewhere. Just dropped it. Got it here, and that'll go under there like that. But first of all, we need to do some stamping. So let's get rid of them. Get rid of that. Bring out our black ink and our juggling snowman. Juggling. I think he's just playing with the snow. Juggling snowballs, that's what he's doing. And we're going to put this as far over to the stitching as we can. Like that. And then with the Merry Christmas. Turn it sideways and we're going to put this running down the side. There. 
when I did this it gave me an idea for gift tags which you will see in another video of my gift tags for this year I've made some well I think they're nice trouble is ooh, with half the gift tags I've made there have been dyes that aren't stumping up but I will show you them anyway right with some balmy blue no this is seaside spray sorry seaside spray and the snowflakes they come in a batch of four so what I did I did four that way and turned it around and did four that way that was all I did And that is our stamping done. So while we wait for that to dry, we will stick all our card pieces down, which makes sense. Get rid of that because that will just squirt out onto the foil which we don't want right, this piece I'm going to stick that about from the centre out. And then this. Give a border either side. Hopefully an even border, top to bottom. There we are. And then we'll stick this on our card base. Okay, enough, you won't be able to see that lump of glue there. It's not a lump of glue, it's just a smudge. And this, once we've coloured it, will go on there. Like that. So let's colour this in. It's quite a quick and easy colour. The green. I just did the bushes, just little circles round each leaf. The blue, I, over the rock, and then under the rock, And also did like the top of the ball and this this side of his face. That's it, like that. 
This is dark pumpkin pie, which I coloured in his carrot. And then with real red, I coloured in his hat and skull. And I just did every other line red. Um, in this scarf, I did the big bits red. Like that. And then we put this on. Yeah, I did. Put it on dimensionals. So one each point. And then Two in the middle. Right, before I take the backings off, I am going to glue down my snowflakes. And then this one. there. I'll take all these backings off. I don't know why I choose to put backings on cards. Or dimensional should I say. There we are, like that, and do I do some inside? Oh yeah, hope the season builds memories. So what I'll do is take this out. Merry Christmas back. So I can use the same block. And one piece of card for inside. So do is put some snowflakes. There 
Ja. Right, all we've got to do now is add some gems, and I did put some gems out, there they are. All I did was put three gems at the bottom here. And there we have it, another little card, Christmas card, hope you like it, if you do give us a thumbs up, if you'd like to see more of my cards please subscribe, um, if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos that I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday, all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.